Okay, here's what I have made. I've got a small three-part uh, mold here. You're going to have to get your own clamp. And I made a spoon that's a good dipper for this size. Yes, I'm talking to myself. I'm videoing. Uh, if you just kind of scrape off the spoon before pouring, it doesn't take a full spoon load. It just a little practice, you should be able to work it out. And I struck up a bunch of this particular size with this blank, and they work really nice. You get a full strike of the coin. And that's about how it works. Now this mold is kind of tiny so it's going to get hot real fast and after probably you know 15 20 blanks cast you're going to want to cool it back off otherwise it just takes way too long for the 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 blanks to freeze up. Let's see. Let these freeze up and I'll try to tip it and show you what I have. Come on, freeze up. There we go. So there's the three blanks and they just drop right out of the molds. Now the, the what I was showing you before about the uh, pot. Let's see if I can get this camera to line up for it. There we go. Now here It's just a matter of putting it underneath. Oh, come on. Pulling the lever. And when this freezes off, we'll tip it up and show you that we got three nicely poured blanks. And that one wasn't frozen off. dropping right out and it works the same for uh, casting ingots the ingot mold just slides underneath and you can watch it filling it and works really nice uh, your ingot mold might be a little taller than it would fit under here but you can uh, always change the stand or cut down the ingot mold anyway uh, that's about it I'm gonna send these off today and you should have the dies early next week see you bye